I want to make a quick video uh, just about how I daily drive uh, uh, this car. Uh, this is a 99 Boxster, just base model. And, um, oh, shut up. If you're wondering if it's, if it's possible to daily drive this, it absolutely is. I drive it every day. I was previously driving it in New York, and then I just moved down to Maryland, and I've had no issues. So, yeah, it works. A couple of things that you want to take note of, like in this case, this car, it's in pretty good shape. It only has 76,000 miles, but there's a lot of things that you want to pay attention to, especially if you're looking at buying one and you're not really sure what to look for. For starters, make sure that there is no water behind the driver's seat. Pull that carpet up, make sure that it just comes right up. Make sure that there's no, it's not moist whatsoever, because if it's moist, then the roof drains are clogged. And if the roof drains are clogged, the overflow is behind the seat. And conveniently, the chassis control module is underneath the passenger, or the driver's seat. And if that gets wet, you will have a slew of issues like I had. Now, in my case, I knew about that before it happened and the people I bought it from, they put one of the conditions of me buying it is that they replaced the soft top because it had a crack in it. So they said, yeah, sure. And they replaced the soft top. And in the meantime, they, they never cleaned out the roof drains or, or something. And there was full pine needles and it soaked the, the chassis control module. And yeah, and that was that. I fried the, fried the car for the most part, and I had, I, it, it would still run, but like the alarm was going off, and then like the windows would roll down and then up, and it, it was wild. So I brought it back to them, and they fixed it under warranty, but they really fixed it, you know? They sent it off to have the module rebuilt, and ever since then, the remote keys just don't work. So there's that. And along with that, that, that's one of the growing pains with this car. Because that happened, you can manually lock the driver door, but there's no manual lock on the passenger door. It's just unlocked all the time. So in order to get around that, I just disabled the out exterior handle. So it's like a, you know, opposite of a child lock. It's just, it can't be opened from the outside. It can only be opened from the inside, which I don't have a problem with that. I, you know, I drive it everywhere I don't usually have passengers and if I do it's usually only my girlfriend or one of my co-workers so uh, it doesn't bo it doesn't bother me at all so yeah uh, one of the things that you want to do is you want to buy the uh, the roof drain guards they just clip in the little plastic pieces it's like 14 bucks for two of them it's just insurance that you don't have to deal with that headache the roof drains are pretty easy to clean out oh and also if you have somebody clean them out make sure that they do it right because one thing that they can do, and which happened to this car, and thankfully only on the passenger side it happened, they can disconnect the rubber hose from the, the, the boot that connects it. And if the rubber hose falls in, it is a royal pain in the ass to get it back up into the boot, and it will leak. Brilliant design there. I don't know who, whose bright idea that was, but. So uh, one of the other things to, that I've done to modernize this car is I gave it Bluetooth. Now, personally, I hate how, like, modern Bluetooth dins or aftermarket dins look. They look like shit. I mean, they just look horrible. You know, you, you want, like, a, uh, you can get, like, a, a cheap but decent head unit for, like, 150, 200 bucks, and they always have some LED bullshit on them, and it, it just looks like, it just looks horrible. You know, maybe if you're into LEDs, but I'm not. I like the look of the stock unit, so what I did is I grabbed a module, a uh, Bluetooth module for 40 bucks. You pull the radio out, and you install the module into the port where the six CD changer would go, or the aux cord, which these never came factory with an aux cord, but you just throw it in, and it works great. Like, I use it for music and for navigation. The upper DIN fits my phone perfectly. In my phone, I have a Note 10 Plus, so it's a, it's a sizable phone. And another thing that I did to update this is I installed a wireless charger into it. So I took apart, I think I spent maybe 20 bucks on the, on the whole thing, 25 bucks. I got a step-down converter to take 12 volt to uh, to nine volt and two amp, which uh, you know you throw into the into the car, 
and there's uh, underneath the these two blanks there's a there's a a pin a four pin connector that has constant power switched power a mute button for um for the phone the, the boxer had a factory phone option nobody got it because it was stupid <laughs> so if you and then a ground and if you tap into the switch power like i did you just put your phone in it'll wirelessly charge through the through the din and uh yeah so when i when i get in the car i just and you know somebody was complaining that like i posted that and they were complaining about oh how do you control your music and stuff like i just use my my watch you know every pretty much everybody has a smart watch now you just open your spotify app or whatever app you're using go ahead and change the music right from there it's easy you never have to touch your phone by the time you get to your destination if you're on a long trip your phone's fully charged it's pretty great i replaced the shift boot and the next mod that i'm installing is uh tpms which i have and i'm planning on installing today but it's just a little tpms module it fits into the cigarette outlet and i'd like to add another cigarette outlet in the blank that's right next to the radio but i want to have it be switched because the you know everyone knows the the only cigarette outlet you get from porsche is factory always on and that's not a bad thing but you know if you don't drive every day you know it can slowly drain your battery and i had to replace the the hood struts on the on the front hood it's easy I've got them on amazon for like 15 bucks super cheap there is a glass panel that goes right here and it's or it's a plexiglass panel and it fits in there it just clips in you can take it out and it fits in this little this little bin right here and the door shut one thing that I need to do is I need to replace that because one of the lips is cracked and uh, with the top down it rattles. That's like, who cares, you know? That's like something that I might get to eventually, but I'll probably just 3D print a, a new version of the clip and then just cut the old clip out, put the new clip in, call it a day. 3D printers come in handy with uh, cars like this and especially even older cars where you just make your own make your own shit uh for instance one of the biggest problems with these cars and it's it's not a problem until you start driving it every day but the volume knobs on the radio on the stock radio after you know x number of years of, of being in a hot car they get the sticky film over them and it doesn't matter what you wash them in i wash them in uh rubbing alcohol goo gone gasoline i tried everything to, to get the stickiness off and like I really scrubbed it and, it, and like I I got all the stickiness off but like if you touch it you, you still know you still know that it like it definitely used to be sticky and I don't know about you guys but I can't stand sticky cars that's just it's like it's gross dude like why would you so I designed some new volume knobs uh, and printed them and they they work great um, they have the Porsche Stuttgart the the horse um, engraved in them and I actually I have an, an extra set right here I think yeah, I don't know where I put them that's unfortunate but I had an extra set that I inlaid some oh there we go they it worked kind of but I inlaid some glow powder so under a black light and um, at night these glow purple a uh, dark purple which thought was kind of cool but it, it was more of a novelty the it didn't work as well as i wanted to and the glow effect isn't really there it might be cool to like modify the radio so that they glow through but that's just too much work for a you know a cosmetic mod um sometimes the soft top doesn't go all the way up, uh doesn't well it'll go all the way back up uh but then the windows won't roll up all the way and i've heard that that's just like a switch in the trunk and there is a switch back there and I guess the switch can go bad, but I it's, it's cold, so I haven't used the, the roof very much. It needs to be vacuumed. But uh, yeah, other than that, daily driving this car, it's great. Uh, you know, so it has a surprising amount of room in the trunk, and there's a little bit of room in the trunk. I can easily get $200, $300 worth of groceries, and that 
usually goes goes well. Uh, never have any trouble fitting stuff in in the frunk or trunk. So you can get cup holders that fit on the vents, and Porsche designed cup holders and holes that it'll click in, but you kind of lose that vent. So I I, I had one. But, broke and I, I never bothered to get new ones. Plus they want like a hundred dollars for two. <laughs> Stupid. I have the standard cup holders that go right here. Uh, the only problem with this is that the spring broke. And normally there's like a, a cloth ribbon that runs between the two. And I think that they cut the cloth ribbon so that they could fit the, fit the cup holder rack in. And then they also, uh, I don't think they, intentionally broke the spring. I think the spring just broke over time, but the spring's missing. That one that one is very annoying. I will I will admit that. Uh, it's not often that I drink like or like I get drinks while I'm driving, but like if I stop at Starbucks or something or Dunkin and get coffee, every time you tap the gas or tap the brake, that thing slams forward. It's so annoying. I, 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 that, hands down, that's probably the most annoying. I think that's the next thing that I'm gonna fix on this car. I'm probably never gonna fix the immobilizer or whatever, the, cause like I'd have to get new keys and, and I, I, it's too much of a bother. One of the engine bushings is shot. And I noticed that because there was an oil leak and I thought it was leaking oil from the engine, but it's not. It's leak, it leaked it from there and it has since stopped leaking, I assume, because it ran out of fluid. But that threw me a scare. And, uh, oh, and one more thing that you are going to have to deal with, every, every Boxster owner is gonna have to deal with this. The foam in the vents breaks up and it just blows out. And it, some, it's worth it to spend like 20 minutes just vacuuming and like chopping it up. That way you're not just driving down the road and suddenly a, a chunk of foam f blows in your eye or something. They just used really low quality foam to secure the air ducts and it breaks breaks down over time. There's nothing you can do about it, you know, aside from tearing apart the whole dash, which is way more effort than it's worth. But overall, yeah, it's I would say it's a, it's a pretty good experience. One thing that I just now remembered is I need to realign the uh, the sprayers for the washer fluid. Um, two of them just completely missed the windshield. Uh, and yeah, other than that, this car is a pretty sweet deal for a daily. Like you don't expect to to like carry a, a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, like I throw a backpack in the passenger seat. You can fit a, a fair amount in, in in the trunks, but you know, it's kind of like it's kind of like dailying a Miata, which I did for a while and. Yeah, it's, it's fun, it's good. You know, people enjoy it, you enjoy it, people like the car, people always wanna to talk to me about it, or they, I, you know, every gas station I go to, they always compliment it, you know? So, there, there's that. So I, I suppose if you're antisocial, uh, don't drive this car, but yeah.